Hey friends. Hi. I am <laughs> so excited and honored because today I have a very special guest on my channel. This is Carla. Hey. If you follow me on Instagram, then you already knew this video was coming, but Carla, let me give her her introduction that she deserves. So Carla is a super talented makeup artist and photographer, and she's actually the makeup artist and photographer that BK Beauty uses on all of our campaigns. So I will pop some images here so you guys can see, but the photo shoot that we did with Angie, Carla did the makeup and photography for, for both Angie and I. For Risa, she did my makeup and then she shot the photos for our lipstick campaigns, makeup and photos for Nikki. So all of those beautiful, stunning images are the result of her work. Thank you. So I thought it'd be great to have her on my channel, to have her to create a look on me. I always feel like a million bucks when I get out of her chair. And I just wanted to share kind of some of her knowledge and tips and tricks with you guys. So yesterday on Instagram, I asked you to pick an image and I'm going to insert it here. This is the image that you guys selected for Carla to create. So that's yeah. what she created. And I love it. It looks so, so good. Mm -hmm. I love how it turned out. So I love how it turned out too. Yes. I feel like it's, what I love about your style of makeup is that I always get out of your chair feeling a little bit more glam than I do normally, mm -hmm. but still feeling like myself. Good. You know what I mean? I feel very mm -hmm. comfortable and it feels like me, but just like the best version of me. <laughs> and that's the goal, you yeah. know? Like I never want anyone to, to look like someone else, you mm -hmm. know? Like unless they wanted to, but yeah. I think ultimately the goal is for people to feel like the best version of themselves all the time. So Absolutely. I love that. So. Absolutely. All right, you guys, before we get started, I will drop all Carla's contact info down below and where you can follow her on Instagram. And if you live in Austin or if you ever want to travel to Austin and have your makeup and a photo shoot done, yes. you can know where to find her. Thank you. Let's get started. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right. All right. I'm ready. You ready? Yay, let's do it. Woohoo! So my skin is a little dry. I applied my moisturizer this morning, but it's, you know, just all absorbed. Yeah, no and I, I didn't apply my SPF because I used a tinted SPF and I didn't want it to interfere with whatever you chose okay. to use. Well, sounds good. Mm -hmm. We'll go in with these products from Mad Hippie, which are amazing. What are these? These are the antioxidant face oil and then the vitamin C. Vitamin C. So Mad Hippie vitamin C serum and the antioxidant facial oil. So do you mix the two together? I do. Okay. And it's just, it feels so amazing on the nice. skin. Okay. And you I do love this it. for me when we do shoots? I do. Okay. Yeah. So I'll just do a few drops of the antioxidant face oil and then a few drops of vitamin C. And then just rub those together. Just press those into the skin. Yeah, that feels good. Right? It feels like you're in a spa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a, a thicker, heavy product, but it doesn't feel real light and watery either. Right. Yeah, mixing it with that vitamin, vitamin C, it kind of helps it to be mm -hmm. a little more. Like, almost like a primer, like mm -hmm. a groupy primer. Exactly. I love it. You can use it day or night. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to go in with their face cream. I usually use about that much. Nothing too. I don't want to overdo it. It smells good too. It does. That feels really good. Right? I like it. It's just, it's not too heavy, but it gives you the right amount of glow mm -hmm. on the skin. Yeah, I like moisturizers that I could use day or night, you mm -hmm. know? I like to simplify my routine. Exactly. Right now I'm using August Miss Bader. Am I saying it right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Augustina's ba Bader or yeah. Batter. Okay, how do I say it? Augustina's, Augustina's Batter. I mean, okay. you know it, tomato, tomato, right? I'm like, <laughs> so. I, I bought the rich cream. And yeah. I love that because it's it's not a thick, heavy cream, but mm -hmm. it really does feel rich yes. in texture. So I use it at night, but I also use it in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good. So I'm going in with this SPF. Okay. Ooh, okay. you love this, don't you? I do. This is the Chantikai Ultra Sun Protection Sunscreen. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is an SPF of 45, and you use it. It's a primer. Yes. Okay. I yeah. remember you sold me on that. It's so good. Very sheer, so you have to be careful. Don't use too much. Very watery, I should say. Okay. So okay. it makes everything smooth. Um, helps to fill in the pores, but also I like it because it's not. I know there's some primers that kind of have a little bit of a grit to it. Mm -hmm. I think, and everyone I think wants to hear about like your favorite products and mm -hmm. maybe products that didn't work for you. So my favorite products are Shantikai, mm -hmm. of course. Um, I love Hourglass as far as their yeah, foundation. Yeah, Hourglass is really nice formulas. Yeah, I 
didn't like their liquid foundation. Mm. Not the newest one, but the one before that. Okay. I felt like it was just very cakey. Mm. Was it the, the soft ambient glow? I think so. Uh, I, that's I the one I so. love. No, it's not that one. <laughs> okay, I it's think the that's one the before one. that. Okay. Yeah, that's the newer one that I haven't mm-hmm. tried. It's nice. I like it. I'm going to have to check it out. Yeah, no, this one was their, I think it was the one they released maybe five or six years ago. Mm. But it was just, it made me look like a puppet. Oh, did you know it? How puppets too heavy. Have, it was so, yeah. so heavy. And it just gave too much texture on mm. the skin. So no, I was no, like, no, we don't want that. Exactly. I was like, eh, I'm not a fan. Okay, what are we doing now? So now I'm taking, this is from, oh my gosh. Okay. Is it Rowan? I think yeah, it's Rowan. It's Rowan. Uh-huh. It's right. Rowan and it's this called, is Rowan, the glow sun skin stick in yeah, lit. In lit, yes. I'm using that. I'm just using a tiny bit because with us doing a JLo inspired look, mm-hmm. we want to have that glow from within. Mm-hmm. So, so this, you're gonna put this before foundation. I am. Okay. And when you apply products like this, I mean, I know doing it on someone versus doing it on yourself is different. But would this be a product you would take to your skin directly, or is this a product you would still apply on yourself like this? I would still apply it like this. Mm-hmm. Um, even with stick foundations, I always use a spatula to get the product off. Mm-hmm. Um, just because I feel like, you know, our skin goes through things. We may have pimples sometimes and just mm-hmm. different things. And I feel like it's important to just keep the longevity of the product. Sanitary reasons. Yes, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. That's like you get more control. Like what I'll yeah. do is I'll usually take, usually take a brush to my product mm-hmm. and then apply it. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it just gives me more control over the application. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't disrupt the makeup underneath so much. Exactly. Like if, I take a, if I take a thicker cream blush formula that's in a stick mm-hmm. and I swipe it over foundation, it might make that foundation move. Mm-hmm. Whereas if I just take a brush to the blush stick and then go, I have more control. Right. And I don't apply too much of it, which I think is an easy thing to do when you go directly to the skin. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you're right. Because your skin, I mean, your skin, of course, is very warm. So that natural heat is going to, mm-hmm. you know, melt the product even more. So yeah. and this better. is the same product you're using? I, this is okay. the same product. So you're kind of highlighting, using it as a highlighter or a contour too? A contour as well. Okay, so yeah, because it's a little deep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a glowy contour. Yeah. So just using it, you know, by the hairline, like on the cheekbones as well. Ooh, yeah, I can already tell. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like underpainting, I feel like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we have that glow. Do so you like to do done. your contouring and bronzering? Bronzering <laughs> before foundation? <laughs> um, I actually like to do my um contour, like the main contour. I'll use that after I do the foundation. Mm, okay. But I kind of like to build things up. Mm-hmm. I don't like to be so harsh mm-hmm. with it. So I'm kind of going in just very lightly, mm-hmm. you know. So it's just nice layers. So the skin is really hydrated mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. It feels okay. very hydrated. Good. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna borrow your your palette. You can reach over and grab it too. Oh, thank you. And I'm gonna go in with... So what foundation are we using? Is this a foundation? Yes, this is a foundation. This is gonna be Kogan Do. I love that brand. Isn't it good? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. I've probably used this when you've done my makeup. Uh-huh. But I use their Aqua foundation. Mm-hmm. I like that one a lot. Mm, yeah, so which one is this, the moisture? This is a moisture foundation, mm-hmm. and I like it. It blurs on the skin. Mm-hmm. It's just so, so beautiful. It's so funny when I'm using the product on people. I'll, you know, I'll put it on. I'll, you know, start doing eyeshadow, and I look, and I'm like, holy cow. <laughs> like, it's just... It, it's kind of shocking just how oh. blurring it is oh. and beautiful. And is it coverage wise? What is it? Full, medium? I think it's a it's a good medium. A good me- okay, yeah. yeah, good. I like medium. Yeah, me too. I don't like anything that's just like ridiculously full. I like a good medium buildable coverage. And I think most mm-hmm. people, is, that's all kind of all most people need. Yeah, um, it is. It is. Unless they're doing stage, mm-hmm. you know. Or if they have, you know, severe melasma or, you know, different skin issues that they really want fully covered. But mm-hmm. I think generally most people can get by with a good medium. Oh, definitely. And then it's a moisture, so it's hydrating? Yes, it is. Would you recommend this for someone with mature skin? I would. You would? Absolutely. Yeah, because it's not going to... Get into your line, your fine lines, your wrinkles. It's mm-hmm. gonna be something that helps to plump, especially after mm-hmm. doing a good skin prep. Okay. And so I've mixed two colors. I've mixed the shade one, two, three, and a tiny bit of the three hundred one. Okay. And what I did when we were talking was I swatched it here. I just wanted to make sure it disappeared. Mm-hmm. And now I'm just gonna go in and just tap the foundation into the skin. 
And what brush are you using? <laughs> I am using my favorite, the 109 BK Beauty you Brush. Foundation. I love it. You know, our 101 is our best seller, and I think mm -hmm. that that brush is really great for applying your own makeup. Mm -hmm. But I actually designed the 109 for an artistry version of the 101 because it's smaller. Yes, yeah, I love it. Thank you for designing it. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, it's perfect. Like, I feel like I reach for this brush all the time. All the time. What else do you use it for? Um, I'll use it for myself a lot of times if I'm in a rush. I'll put my foundation on, then I'll use it for concealer, mm. then I'll use it for contour. So mm. it's one of those brushes that, you know, you could use for anything. I think people like to be told, like, this is this brush for this or for mm -hmm. this. But I try to find as many ways to use all of our brushes. Definitely. I like to give myself worst case scenarios. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, God forbid, I only have one brush mm -hmm. that I've packed you know, in my kit. Could I use this brush for everything? And mm -hmm. I feel like you can definitely do that with this brush, yeah. you know, and still give your client a really flawless finish. And you like, I know you're kind of just pressing it into the skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that typically how you apply foundation? It is. Mm -hmm. It is. I prefer to just press it into the skin versus, you know, doing streaks. Or streaks. It, it just makes the foundation streaky. Mm -hmm. So kind of tapping it and pressing it into the skin just gives it a really flawless finish. Mm -hmm. Especially, you know, since I'm a photographer as well, I find that doing this just makes it easier to edit. Mm -hmm. You're not really mm -hmm. focused on, you're not going to see a lot of lines mm -hmm. and texture in the skin when you do this. And then you get more coverage with less product. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay. Looks good. Yeah, that's one thing I feel like, you know, I try not to watch too many videos unless they're yours. <laughs> it can get expensive, oh right? Oh my gosh. Yes, because everyone is like, guys, you have to try this. Oh, no. like, uh, there's just so much out there and so much yeah. that just kind of keeps coming new new product. It is, I think I'm like, there's a part of me that wants to be a minimalist. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. then there's a part of me that's like, that doesn't really work with your job and what you do, you know, by right. trying new products and talking about new products. But yeah, it can get overwhelming. Absolutely. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, I'm just going to get what I know. <laughs> what I know works, you know. So I am using the Giorgio Armani concealer, and this is going to be shade four. I did grab shade two as well, just to give a little bit more brightness. Okay. I am going to use a little bit of the Neutrogena color corrector as well. Okay. Just a little dot of yeah, that. And that's a pretty, let's show everyone what this looks like. Mm -hmm. So this is a pretty, like, deep orange color corrector so she's going to mix it with a lighter a couple of lighter concealers to mm -hmm. color correct and highlight and conceal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i really love this formula in the new yeah China. their concealers are really nice too they are they are super super nice i just like that it's not super thick mm -hmm. it's hydrating but it doesn't like move all over the place exactly it reminds me a lot of the um, nars Mm -hmm. I am going to utilize the A502 brush just to fan out a little bit of this color corrector. So you're using an eyeshadow brush for concealer. I am. So why do you like to do that? I like to use a fluffy brush to apply the um, mm -hmm. color corrector. I don't want anything that's going to be too heavy under the skin. Mm -hmm. I just want to sheer it out a little bit, you know, and then I follow it by my favorite Concealer brush. Angie's. <laughs> yes, I love this brush. Um, the Angie Hot and Flashy, the A506. But yeah, when it comes to color correctors, just because I don't want it to sit under on the skin, mm -hmm. I always share it out with a fluffy brush. So guys, Carla took the color corrector, the one that I showed you, and she added a tiny bit of concealer to kind of dilute down the like depth of the color, the darkness of that uh, color corrector. Mm -hmm. So it's basically a lighter version of what we just showed you. And she did that by mixing in a concealer to it. So there's a little tip for you, mm -hmm. which is great as a makeup artist, because that way you don't have to carry, you know, three or four different color correctors. Mm -hmm. You can bring that one and it'll work on deep skin tones and it'll work on lighter. Absolutely. All right. And so I'm going to go in with that, the number four first in the Giorgio Armani. I'm just going to press it into the Skin. What would be your tips to for under eye concealer? I think that that's probably the question I see the most is like, I'm in my 50s, I'm in my 60s, and I'm, you know, trying to find a good concealer that doesn't settle in fine lines or look heavy. Any, any tips for how to apply? Because I think sometimes a lot of the issues that we are having in our makeup can be solved by how we either prep the skin or how we apply it and what tools we use and 
Do you have any tips for that? I do. I feel like the biggest thing is skin prep first, but also when you do get a concealer, get something that's sheer. I think focus on color correction first and then applying your concealer. Once you color correct, you don't really have to worry about putting as much concealer on and use the BK Beauty <laughs> A506 brush <laughs> because using this, it'll just ensure that it's just a very sheer, even coverage, but also it looks flawless. I feel like I'm missing, <laughs> I'm missing tools. Like if I don't have this brush, it's, yeah, it's not going to be a good makeup application. Mm -hmm. I, I love this brush because it does help you get full coverage with not a whole lot of product. Absolutely. And it's comfortable too. It's mm -hmm. just, it's not it's perfect too, size. Yeah, it is. Not too small, but not too big. Mm -hmm. If you are someone that's in a rush and you want your concealer blended out in like two seconds, the 110 is great for that. Yes. It's a much larger concealer brush, but... Do you I have, have that brush. I don't think I've tried it for concealer though. Yeah, and that's the thing. You might use it for something totally different. It works great for like a cream blush too, or even mm -hmm. a contour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like I've been using it for contour a lot too. I'm feel. I'm already feeling J Lo. Hey, hey. good. <laughs> so I'm going in with the Hourglass Concealer and Oat. I'm gonna use this as a highlight. Okay. Just to add a little more light. This is area here. Let's press this into the skin. I'm choosing not to use this under the eyes because it is a little heavier. Mm, okay, good to know. I just fan that out a little bit. Yeah, the skin is looking very, very highlighted and awesome. contoured and just very J-Lo. That's when I, when I think of J-Lo makeup, mm -hmm. I just think of that like perfect highlight and contour. Yes. Yes, it's looking good. <laughs> it does, right? Okay, so what are we doing next? So now I'm going in with the NARS Laguna Number no. 3 and some bronzing cream. And I'm just getting, a little goes a long way with this. Mm -hmm. those are, that's pretty pigmented. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm only gonna take a tiny, tiny bit. You're using the 113? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I noticed about you is you use very um, little product. Mm -hmm. It's better to do that. It's better mm -hmm. to use a little bit and build up mm -hmm. versus using a ton and then you just don't know where to go from there. Yeah. <laughs> I always say it's, you know, I wear a lot of makeup, but I wear little layers yes. of a lot of makeup, right? Yes. Like there's a lot of products on my face, but mm -hmm. it's not actually physically a lot. Right, exactly. I feel like sometimes I get a little overzealous with foundation where mm -hmm. I'll put a ton on the palette and I'm like, okay, uh -huh. you know what? I've just wasted all this top mm -hmm. board. What? <laughs> yes. But at least you walk away. I think some people are like, oh, I don't want to waste it. So I'm just going to put it on. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're definitely going to. That was gonna... me, you know, a few Did years you? ago. Yeah. But now I'm, now I'm like, my skin is, you know, changing and mm -hmm. I, I just can't overdo it because it's just not, it doesn't look good. Well, your skin is flawless. Thank you. You're welcome. But yeah, I feel like the um, the older we get, though, it is definitely important just to really treat your skin almost like a a newborn baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you just you don't, don't yeah take the time to do the right routine. I mean, mm -hmm. I just didn't really you know focus on skin up until maybe 35. Mm -hmm. I would just use you know a moisturizer that. Was it the best for me? I don't know. But I, would, I wouldn't I would really, I didn't have a skincare routine. I'd wash my face and I'd put moisturizer on. Right. That was kind of it. And now, you know, I do think I have good skin, but I do, my, I notice my skin is a lot drier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So makeup just sits on it differently. You do know? you feel like it sits on it? It's a lot drier, like in the winter time. Or... For sure. Mm -hmm. And what I notice is, you know, I will apply my makeup and it might look really great mm -hmm. in the morning. And then throughout the day, I'll look in and particularly underneath my eyes, I'll start to see it just looks, it can look really dry. So mm -hmm. um, I would say definitely try out these products. The Mad Hippie. The Mad Hippie. Okay. I feel like they're just, they're amazing. And makeup sits on them well and stays. It doesn't break it down. Or... No, not at all. And I feel like it's just because of the pressing technique as well. Mm -hmm. Because everything is just kind of working mm -hmm. together with it. I think maybe if I were using, you know, too many heavy layers, then it probably wouldn't work well. But because everything is just kind of working simultaneously, it's mm -hmm. almost like it's a big moisturizer mm -hmm. on your face mm -hmm. or something. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Look at this. I'm just kind of tapping everything into the skin. So you um, went in with uh, concealer to highlight. Mm -hmm. And then to kind of bronze and give that contour, you, you first use the Rowan stick and I then did. you're going in with something a little deeper now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So, and this, it's deeper, but it's also not as warm mm -hmm. either. I do like it because it's not red, but it's not too gray either. Uh -huh. You know, it's got a nice balance. And like I said, just kind of build that up. And you work with a lot of cream products. I do. Mm -hmm. I see some powders here, so maybe I'm, well, maybe we'll be setting things with powder. Absolutely. Yes. With, mm -hmm. I do have the Charlotte Tilbury powder, and I have a powdered bronzer mm -hmm. as well. And so I do. You know, I do go in with with it, but you know, again, everything is just like tapping motions. Mm -hmm. So Carla, I mentioned this already, but she is um, obviously a very talented makeup artist, but she's Thank also you. a very talented photographer. We've been working with you for a few years now. What was yes. your first campaign? Was it lipsticks? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh. So all the images that you've seen with the models for our lipsticks, for Angie's launch, uh, for Nikki's launch, for Reese's launch, for all makeup and uh, photography done by Carla. Thank you. It's been so much fun. I think that's just amazing that you do both. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. I um, I was doing the inter uh, interview the other day, and I was just talking about how fortunate I feel to be able to have both mm -hmm. um, passions. You know, I just I love the fact that I have that instant gratification of seeing the um, makeup, you know, in mm -hmm. pictures. Did you do start makeup first, or was it photography? Oh, sorry. But, yeah, I actually started um, doing makeup first. Okay. And um, it was, you know, I got, had a little frustration working with other photographers mm -hmm. because a lot of times I'm like, hey, mm -hmm. why don't you try this? And of mm -hmm. course, you know, they're probably like, shut up, makeup artist. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, you know, but it was more or less like, I think the frustrations mainly came from me working on set for long periods of time mm -hmm. and sometimes not getting images um, that you could use. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it was, um, it was a little challenging sometimes you know, dealing with those situations, but it made me, I feel like becoming a photographer made me a better makeup artist mm -hmm. as well. So yeah, it was just, it was a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, there's that say powder. There's that <laughs> say powder. What do you say, say? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. I enjoyed this brand. I think they yeah. make really nice products. They do. I, um, I just want them to make a bigger powder for, mm. for us makeup artists. I feel like I go through it really quickly. <laughs> so I'm like, could you, uh, could you put one in Sam's Club that's like really huge, please? <laughs> so, but yeah, what I'm doing, I, um, I just made sure I buffed out any lines, uh -huh. any creases, and now I'm just going in with the safe powder. And this is the 110 brush or the 108? Oh, this is 110. 110, okay. Mm -hmm. Which is really awesome. setting that concealer. Oh, yeah. So the important thing is just making sure that it's no longer moist under the eye mm -hmm. you know and i just i love this powder just because it's so illuminating mm -hmm. you know and so it's not it doesn't have talc in it so it's not going to give you that dry look under your eyes either i know sometimes i'll put powder under my eyes and you can feel it mm -hmm. i feel like with this you don't feel it no, much it feels very very light mm -hmm. and then just stick pressing under what's your favorite type of makeup to do my favorite type of makeup to do is I love a no makeup makeup look. You do? I do. How much time does it take you to do a no makeup makeup look? Huh. Okay, wait. Like <laughs> on myself or yeah, on client? yourself? On yourself and then for a shoot. <laughs> on myself, it'll take me about 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Okay. Yeah. On a client, I feel like because I'm such a perfectionist, I want to make sure everything is perfect for them. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, it might take. 45 minutes to an hour. It might. <laughs> Isn't that funny for a no makeup makeup look? Yes. <laughs> because it's all about skin. It is. Mm -hmm. It's all about skin. Ooh, and it's looking so good. Yay. That's what I love about you. I feel like you have a signature style when it comes to like shaping the face and creating definition and highlighting. It just makes me feel like a million bucks, you know? Thank you. I mean, honestly, that's the goal, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I really want clients to feel amazing about themselves. Mm -hmm. I want even if a person has skin that they consider problem skin, mm -hmm. I want them to feel just amazing mm -hmm. and glowy and beautiful, mm -hmm. you know? It's it, a pleasure. It really I helps it. with photo shoots too, because I think a lot of people, including myself, like I'm not comfortable in front of a camera, you know, with mm -hmm. a photographer behind me. Like, I just feel like I've got one thing and it's basically like this, you know? Yeah. Like I can't do the, I, I can't, I'm not a model. You've been doing it, Lisa. You've been doing it. <laughs> I get it. better. I get better. <laughs> the right music I can you yeah. know, step into my Sasha Fierce mode but yes. I it's, it can be uncomfortable so when you mm -hmm. feel like you look really good that yeah. helps a lot it does. Know, it, it does it really does yeah I, I feel like if a person's makeup was like awful 
Yeah, it would exactly. Feel yeah, it yeah. would it would show in the photos just yes. the way that they presented themselves. So. Mm-hmm. Definitely, Makeup is powerful. It is. You know, it, really it is. absolutely is. It's like it's it's one of those things where when you put it on, I know when I put it on, I'm like, I feel like I can go through my day a little different, you know. Mm-hmm. So it definitely is powerful. This is a Kevin Aquan and it's called Sundown Deep. And it's just like a nice bronzing powder. So I'll just have a little bit on the brush and then I'll apply a little to my hand. I just want to make sure it's not overwhelming. Mm-hmm. And so I'll just go in to kind of set that cream contour. And just a little bit. Again, you just want to make sure you're using just slight, slight yeah, very soft pressure and you didn't pick up a lot. Right. And as you can see, it's like more, has like a gradient here. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of doing the lighter side, middle mm-hmm. to like the middle. Just, I just want it to look really sun-kissed. I love it because you could actually use this as eyeshadow as well. Mm-hmm. So at this point, I'm going to take a little bit of setting spray. This is something you influenced me to buy. This is a Morphe, right? Mm-hmm. But yeah, so now I'm going to go in with yes. eyeshadow. Okay, do you want to take a look at the inspo one more time? Absolutely. So I'm going to go in with Color Fix in Latte. Let's put a little bit on the palette for now. What I'm going to do is also go in with Violet so FR. Before we started filming, Carla told me that I have to get these. They are liquid eyeshadow. Yes. So I'm excited for you to use them on me. They're so good. And what shade is that? So this one is called To Do. To do okay, and then yeah. this one I don't know. Are you gonna use this one or not? I might. I might. Okay, I'll I just say the name it. in case. It's Petite yeah. Coulette. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they're just they're so so pretty. You could even wear these by itself because we are doing more of a pink. Mm-hmm. I am gonna just use this as a base first and then put the pink on top. Okay, so. It dries really nicely as well. Do you like to put shadow on top of these usually, or do you like to wear them alone? Um, I like to do both. Mm-hmm. I like the fact that it's versatile enough where you can do both. It dries really quickly though, so you have to move fast. And a little goes a long way. I think I got a little overzealous. Mm-hmm. It's a bit much. And so this is the Latte Color Fix. It is. Okay. And just using a tiny bit. And I'm just kind of tapping it onto the skin. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Mm-hmm. Love that. Those two colors mm-hmm. together are really nice. Right. You see that pink, but it's not too pink. Right. I'm going with the lighter shade. So this is the Petite Coulette. Mm-hmm. It just look all the way up for me. So you're using this with the 204 underneath a lash line? I am. And is this going to give a little definition or is this going to be kind of a base for something? Well, kind of a base. It's a very light color. Mm-hmm. So it's not, you know, I just didn't want it to be too smoky mm-hmm. underneath your eyes. I know you like a little more brightness. I do, yeah. And that image, you know, everything was real just soft and light and diffused mm-hmm. that's what i love about her makeup yes i feel like most of the smoky pink was just like at the top mm-hmm. so i'm gonna go in with going back in with the with latte, the latte. Mm-hmm. and just going back and forth with the brush just to really sheer it out yeah i think that's the key with this technique is really working it into the lashes so mm-hmm. you don't see a separation of skin and then liner you know? right exactly and this brush is perfect for that too. Yeah. Because it fans the product out really nicely. And especially when I do my smoky brown mm-hmm. under my eye. I love this. And so we are done with the, the eyeshadow. And so I'm going to go in with a little bit of this white powder. So this okay. is the Viseart palette. Mm-hmm. This is the Petite Mattes palette, neutral. Mm-hmm. We're going to go in with this one? Yes, we're going in with that one. And I like it. It's just so cute and tiny and, you know. I like that it's all matte. Right. There's a lot of shades and light to mm-hmm. building up to dark. Yes, exactly. Take they this on vacation. Good yeah. They do. They do. Me too. And it's like a palette you can create a full look with, but you can also use it as a complementary palette yes. too. Yes. Exactly. Things. Exactly. This one I think I'm going to actually use the new Nikki collab brush. Mm-hmm. I like it. It's very soft, very mm-hmm. fluffy. And it's the N13. And actually, I'm, gonna not, I'm not going to use the lighter shade anymore. I'm going to use the one next That's to true. it. I'm just going to buff. So I just want to soften it a little bit. I like this brush because it is soft and fluffy at the tip, but it's also kind of dense at the base for a crease brush, you know, mm-hmm. a blending brush. Mm-hmm. So it, it does a good job of like picking up and blending out. Yes. I'm going to just switch up a little bit and I'm okay. going to do the brows. And I'm using the Nick Townsend Brow Sketch Pencil and it's in Kelly. I love it because this particular color, it's just a nice ash 
um, blonde color. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful. I use this on you all the time. Okay. And I also use the Marlowe, his shade in Marlowe as mm -hmm. well, which is also another beautiful shade. Okay. But I just, I feel like it just works beautifully. And They're it's pigmented as well. You don't want anyone to see your brows before they see you. Right. <laughs> and I think that that's the one thing, like when I've had my makeup done, that it will, it will throw it all off. If yeah. I feel like the brows are too strong, it just changes my, it doesn't look like me. Right, right. So you have a very light touch with the brows. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's important. It's key, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Not to to go overboard. Mm -hmm. You can create the same shape, but even your pressure makes all the difference. Oh, yeah. And I feel like you're doing little hair strokes. Mm -hmm. That is my claim to fame. Mm -hmm. Instead of going overboard, just creating those hair strokes, it kind of gives you that microbladed look. Mm -hmm. And I've also used the, it's from Milani. Is it a pen? And, yeah, it's a mm -hmm. pen. And it's really, really good as well. I just feel like they need a few more colors. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like the ones they have now are just, it would be a little bit too harsh. Weekend brow. There you go. Mm, let's see. Ooh, wow. Everything looks so airbrushed. Thank you. Thank like, you. especially the eyes. The eyes just look so airbrushed and perfectly blended. You can't see where it starts and stops. It's just, oh, I love it. And the skin is glowy. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm using the Well Blended Lashes by Kiss. Okay. They have a nice wispy look to them. All right, okay. so I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of black. I do remember her having a little bit this close to the, the lash line. Vanessa Myrick's Color mm -hmm. Fix, the black one. Yep, this is a um, shade Blackout. But look at the difference there, it's amazing. Right? Amazing. When we did your lash uh, photo uh -huh. shoot and I was like, uh -huh. The difference between the two is great. It was a little trippy. I was mm -hmm. like, whoa, okay. <laughs> it really does, yeah. Yeah. I, um, how do the lashes feel? They feel good. Good. Okay, okay. those look those so good. Are... I want to get a peek. Let me look. Oh my God, they look so good. They're mm -hmm. long, but they're not heavy. Yeah. Okay. Pretty. Okay. Yay. Yay. Okay, so we're using the Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Worth. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. It's a nice, pretty pinky peach. It's soft. Mm -hmm. These know. are nicer, super pigmented though. They are. It's mm -hmm. like, this might even be too much. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a okay. little goes a long exactly. way. And is, you, is it sponge dry or is it damp? It's dry and then I'm gonna go in with a little. I just wanna make sure it's not overwhelming. Yeah, that setting spray smells really good. Yeah, it's very, so fresh. Mm -hmm. As far as blush placement, Mm -hmm. What is what do you recommend? What are your thoughts on that? I don't really like putting it on the apples of the cheeks. Mm -hmm. I like to kind of lift the blush a little bit. Okay. Um, it helps to lift the face. I find that when putting it too close or putting it on the apples of the cheeks, when you smile, it'll kind of get in the creases a little bit. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think for women that are over 40, I think it it just looks better. To place it, yeah, you're kind of like, it's like the actual cheekbone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not like the kind of fat of the cheek. Right, yeah. right. I'm still going to place it on my apple. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I love it on the yeah. apple. But yeah. I have been, I start there, but then I pull it up here. Pull it up so more. it's a little bit of both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's cool. It is cute. It's cute. But <laughs> like, it goes back to what we were saying. Whatever you like, and yeah. whatever you feel good in, you know? Yeah. Because every time I have my makeup done, Sean's done my makeup too from Jane Ardell, and he does the uh -huh. same way you do. Right. So, right. And, and I think Nikki too placed it. So, so there's something there, right? If right. Every makeup artist is doing my blush, is doing it the same way. But right. I still love it the way I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. You're allowed to, you know? It's my face. Exactly. It's my face. I can do what I want. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> but yeah. And so Ooh, pretty. beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, and it's so funny because I think I, I said I was going to do the lips first and then I ended up doing blush. I'm like, mm -hmm. that's a good. And okay. so, Ooh, I like that. Right? It's ah, so pretty. I'm, gonna, I'm seriously going shopping after this. Girl, you have to because yeah. these are great products. I want to get some clay to Poe lip, lippies and then I want this. Whatever yeah. This is, this is so good. This is Chanel and it's in the color light mauve. Okay. But yeah, I love this lip because it lasts all day. Is it a liquid lipstick? It is. Okay. It is. And um, I tend to use this on bridal clients. Mm -hmm. and But anyone that I use it on, they're like, oh, my gosh. Like, what did you Love use? It. Like, it's still on my lips. So the only thing I would say is just keep a clear lip gloss with you. Because it gets dry. It does get dry, you know. Yeah, they but all do. Mm -hmm. All of those formulas do. Mm -hmm. But it definitely um, holds up nicely. So I'm going to use the Almost Bare from Makeup by Mario. And I'm using it almost like 
to implement a little bit of the peach. So it's very similar to the picture that the lipstick that JLo was wearing. Yeah, because she didn't have a real defined lip line. Yeah, it almost just looked like a wash of color. Mm -hmm. I think this is, it's just a really nice color. Like even if you were to do like a smoky eye or something, mm -hmm. I think it's just like a really Ooh, cute. Yeah, very soft. Mm -hmm. It's like a your lip but better mm -hmm. moment. So it's cute. It's very velvety too. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go in with the light mauve and just fill it in. Fill your lips in with it. I love it. I just, I feel like um, these particular lip products from Chanel, it just gives you, once you put the gloss on top, it just makes your lips look very airbrushed. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's like the lips have just a softer pink than the eyes do. It feels good. Mm -hmm. So I want to do your signature mm -hmm. pop. Yeah, so right? Mm -hmm. It's just like a nice wash of color. Okay, signature pop. What does that mean? So I wanted to do your light pop. In like the and oh, yes. okay, this is new. You're yes. using the Danessa Myricks Color Fix. Yes, and I'm using Nude Number One. Nude Number One, okay. Okay, so we're going in with the Danessa Myricks Nude One Color yes. Fix. And Lisa loves to have that nice pop mm -hmm. under her eye. I feel like this is perfect for that. It's a nice fleshy tone. It's not, you know, too light. It's just perfect. I bet this stays in place. I never thought about using this there. Oh, yeah, it definitely stays in place. I actually used this for you last time. Oh, you did? Mm hmm Perfect. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but this is good just because it's, you know, it's waterproof. And like I said, it's not, you know, super white or whatever. But you could do this one or her nude number two as well. I have one of the nudes. I'll have to see which one it is. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me blend that in a little bit more. There we go. Okay. So my eyes adjust. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, here you go. Love it. Looks good. And we're going to do some mascara. This is Giorgio Armani. Mm -hmm. Okay, J-Lo. I know. <laughs> I love it. Ooh, I love it. Yay. I always feel so beautiful after you do my makeup. Wow, that looks so good. Thank you. And the glow is like perfect. It's the like glow is glowing. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yay. Yay. Awesome. I love the way my makeup looks. Awesome. I knew I would. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you already have beautiful skin to start with, so it like made my job easy. Oh, so thank you. Every time yeah. Carla does my makeup, it's such a treat. So when she agreed to do this video, I was not only excited for you guys to like get to see this queen in all of her talented <laughs> glory, but thank also I was excited you. for myself. <laughs> Like, you gotta I, plan a date night or something know, for this too. look. <laughs> thank you so much for being on my channel. Of course, you're welcome. Thank you so much for yes. having me. This was like so fun to create. And I'm so glad that you guys chose the pink because I was like, you know what? Putting a little pop of color on Lisa would be like amazing just to, you know, just bring out her eyes and everything. Thank you. So yeah, it's, it's perfect. Complimentary on green eyes. Absolutely. I'm gonna link Carla's social channels in the description box below so you can go follow her. Thank you. Yes. And then we'll list and link all the products that she used as well for you guys and then just pop mm -hmm. any questions that you have I might bug her to hop on questions when this video goes live Absolutely. and answer any that you might have I'll be happy to this was fun thank you you're welcome thank you bye guys